Is there financial trouble with maybe the fishing in the Bass Pro Tour? That's what we're going to talk about right now. To start, let me just say thank you for taking the time to watch this video. When BPT started and the Bass Pro Tour started, there were a lot of fans that were unhappy with what happened. Going from the Bass Elites and then joining this new league brought a lot of people that just didn't like what was going on. There are tons of fans that are were hurt emotionally, but they didn't like what happened. And since then, they haven't given MLF the time or the chance, and I understand that. We're loyal to the brand of bass. But since then, and with these new changes that are happening, everyone has commented saying Major League Fishing must be in financial trouble. Are anglers leaving because they're unhappy and because Major League Fishing is having financial trouble? Or are they leaving because they don't like the constant changes in the, in the format and they're not happy with some of the stuff that's happened at the tournaments with disqualifications or even the possibility of people skirting that, that gray area of cheating? Really, that's what most anglers are saying. But is that the truth? Major League Fishing purchased all of the FLW, which took on a real financial problem for them. And when MLF bought the FLW, there was a lot of people saying that FLW was millions of dollars in debt. I should mention, as of doing this video, I can tell you that the MLF has over 51 major sponsors that are contributing money or other things to make the BPT successful. And while we've had people leave like Jason Christie and Iconelli and Palinick, and then this year with, with KVD retiring and now Jordan Lee going to back to the elites, the one thing you have to remember is that those two guys, KVD and Jordan Lee, are also coming back to fish the Red Crest and the heavy hitters. They both qualified for it and they're both gonna take MLF up and fish both those tournaments next year. And while there is going to be another influx of amazing anglers going into the Opens, the Opens again will be unbelievably even more competitive than last year. As of today, there were over 150 anglers that had, that had put down money or they've, they've said that they're going to fish all nine tournaments. And I thought last year was a fluke because I thought it, the Opens had extra like excitement going on because Ben Milliken was trying to qualify. But with all the people that are leaving the B, uh, the, the BPT that are now going to fish the Opens, the Opens are again going to be extremely competitive and with the new payouts, this is going to be another exciting year for the, the Open tournaments. But let's keep it real. Do the Opens actually help the anglers promote their sponsors? That's a really big question. I know we started this off with how is MLF in financial trouble? And really that's what I want to think. I know what you guys think. I've read all the comments and try to I try to reply to all of them. But the Opens next year, I'm not really sure the Opens help an angler brand themselves, especially if you're not in that top nine or 10. I think if you qualify to get back into the, the elites, then that does help. But those middle of the road 20, you know, 15 to 40 anglers, which are crazy good, I don't know if they get the success of branding themselves or branding or helping promote their sponsors. And really that's what it comes down to. Sponsorship is where the money is at for professional tournament anglers. If you make a check, that's great. That's an added bonus, but your sponsors are extremely important. You need to have outside sponsors. You have to have inside sponsors. And truthfully, Major League Fishing has some absolutely big name sponsors. It isn't just Cronky, Bass Pro Shops, General Tire, Abu Garcia, Berkeley, Lawrence, Toyota. I mean, it's unbelievable the, the big name sponsors that Major League Fishing has. Which leads us to the topic. Are they really in financial trouble? I know a lot of people want them to be in financial trouble because of what happened in the past. But the truth is, Major League Fishing going down or being hurt or being in financial trouble hurts the whole industry. While they're really competitive with bass in the long run, and I think some of bass would bass some of the bass executives would say, while we want to beat them in every way possible, we don't want them to go under. They didn't want FLW to go under. They don't want the BPT to go under. And the rumor mill is just stirring about MLF trying to get rid of the Toyota series and the Phoenix, Phoenix Bass Fishing League. That was on the the supposedly that was out on the market for someone to purchase just recently. They were actively searching to see if somebody was interested in purchasing those two tournaments. That is just a rumor. But 
if they are able to sell it or sell those, it just helps promote the BPT a little bit better. And the anglers that are leaving MLF and the BPT and going to the, and not going to the invitationals kind of have has burned a bridge. They're not going to be able to go back to the BPT or the invitationals. If you go to the opens, you're kind of stuck on that one side of the railroad track. You're going to the elites. They can go to NPFL, but the elites in the is where is where it's really at. With the opens paying out more, that really helps. But like I said, I'm not sure open tournament fishermen really are able to brand themselves or promote their sponsors the way they want to, unless they're on camera and doing fantastic. Now, in the last video, we didn't have a lot of there were a lot of anglers that were leaving, but now I know Brett Height, Mike McClain, Russ Lane, Gary Klaus, Kit Cliff Pace, Cody Meyer are all going to fish the Opens next year. David Fritz and Larry Nixon are retiring, good for them, but they're, the Opens are going to be extremely successful again, and some of the most competitive fishing there is. Now, I'm not really sure that MLF is in financial trouble. I don't think they are. I think they want to cut some fat, which is understandable. I think getting to the 50 people isn't the worst thing in the world. I think it helps those 50 anglers become the best of the best. But I also think that they'll probably make it a few more and make it to that 65. I think the 50 was just a just a, a little bit too sharp of a cut. I think they get 65 anglers in and continue what they're doing. They have great... Uh, they have great sponsors to start off with. They have amazing sponsors. And unless we start seeing those sponsors pull off or pull away from them, then that's when I think we need to look at Major League Fishing is in financial trouble. And really, you'll if you were to talk to a bunch of anglers, they would tell you their sponsors kind of push them to where they want them to go. There's anglers that have been told, look, if you don't go to the Opens, we're going to take money away from you. So they go to the Opens. So having the sponsorship money is crucial for anglers to become successful and to make a good living. So while we are thinking some of these guys are leaving because of they don't like the format change or they don't like something that's gone on or they're not going to requalify for the for the BPT, probably what a majority of them why these guys are leaving. They don't like the format change, whatever it is. There are other guys that have to leave because their sponsors tell them we would rather pay you more to go fish the opens because we're not getting anything out of you at Major League Fishing BPT. So while it seems like Major League Fishing is having issues and having financial problems, some of, like I said, some of the anglers just have to go where the sponsors go. And really, that's why they are they have left. I'm not going to say who and why or exactly what, what I know, but there are anglers that have to do it because they've been told by their sponsors that they need to. So it really doesn't make, to me, a lot of sense that Major League Fishing is having financial troubles. I understand the cuts. I don't agree with it. I understand the cuts. I think their invitationals are extremely successful. I think if they can get rid of some of the other little things, it could be a profitable company. But really, they're not. And no one in professional bass fishing is really breaking the bank, unless you're an angler. They're the ones that make a good, decent living. And they have their sponsorship money. And if they do well, they have their tournament winnings. But I don't know. I don't know if I would say. MLF is in financial trouble at this point. I mean, are they are they borderline? Yes, because all of them are. I mean, taking on that debt, that FLW and creating the new leagues and keeping the sponsorships and the ratings and the television and the online viewership website, it isn't cheap. And they're in a battle with Bass. But if they're in trouble, Bass is probably in just as much of trouble. And they don't have Cronky behind them. Only time will tell, unfortunately. But I want to know what you think. So comment below and tell me what you think is happening with MLF. It's a weird, another weird situation. Weird off-season weird situation and quite honestly next season next off-season is going to be even worse it really is so comment below and tell me what you think thanks for hitting that like and subscribe button make sure you take a kid fishing get your fish on i'll talk to you soon cheers